Hi there! Today we are playing some more Bloodborne. We are on the way to the game's second boss, Father Gascoin. And he's just across this bridge here, so we'll go provoke these guys. I have to say, the trip to get here is really simple. Bloodborne looks like a really daunting game until you've done it a hundred times. And then you realize, wait, I can just run past everyone and have the game kill these guys. Except, it always leaves this guy. He's, he's the strongest of the group. Saves himself for me. So there we go. Now there's just the torch man and the troll. And I've got this cocktail out, not for the boss, but to get rid of this guy. Because he's just annoying. There he goes. Well now, we'll take out the troll. Who sometimes I find difficult, and sometimes I don't. It's a strange relationship we have. And this is one of those times where he's going to be difficult. Okay. Of course, if I can just time those stabs right, it's no problem. And I'll use this blood vial with the expectation that he's dropped two. Which he did. Good. So those are the only real enemies of any substance that you have to fight to get here. Because like I said, the rest you can just run by. There's these guys over here, but I'm not going near them. So, Father Gascoigne's right through this. First we need to do a quick inventory check. I have full bullets, which you need for this. Full uh, blood vials, I believe you need that as well. And then there's also, if I can find it, the tiny music box which is essential for this fight, in my opinion. And also, my character is now level 22. That was all used on endurance and uh, stamina, and a little bit of strength, so I can use this sword. So here we go. Into the graveyard with Father Gascoigne. Where is he at? So, already I've had a terrible start getting myself caught in amongst these headstones. As you can see, he's a hunter too, and that's the whole shtick, is this is what it's like to face another hunter. Oh, I want those blood echoes. Good. I just died here. This is not my first take, so that's the explanation for those. So what you want to do, and I've been successful once, is stay close enough to him to stun him, and then hit him with these visceral attacks. And that really makes an impact on it. If you can time it right, this fight becomes really easy. At least until his third phase. He's in his second phase now. He's put the gun away. He's all business. And he packs a punch if he hits you. But I'm still getting with these Vistrals. It's going really well so far. Just hope that stays true. And he's in his third phase, just like that. So, we're going to use this, the music box, and he's suffering, and we'll beat into him right now, and we got to get away, and we'll use it again. It didn't work that time. We'll use it again. The whole thing is going to work on him. And he hits hard. And he covers a lot more space than he does in human form. I need to heal up, heal up, and see, when you go too far away from him, he does that leaping attack. I'm trying to get this music box in. It's not working. Right. So I really do just have to take the fight to him now which I don't like the sound of that. But this is why we have bullets, and this is why we have all these blood bombs. And there's a visceral attack, that's good. And I think that might be it. That's it, that's, that's Father Gascoigne. That went a lot better than I expected. And uh, I'm really happy to share that with you. So that's Father Gascoigne. 
it's a, like I say, if you can get those visceral attacks in, it's a pretty simple fight. And this time, luck of the draw, I had it happen. Make sure you're leveled up quite a bit. Make sure you have that music box from his daughter. That makes a world of difference in the third phase. And I'll be back when I get to the third boss. I don't even know what the third boss's name is, so I can't even tease that. If you enjoyed this video, like, subscribe, share, all that stuff. And I will see you next time.